So we're back at Glen Tress again. This time we're around the trusty hardtail. This is the 27.5 cent here. Thought I'd come and give it a rip round with trail centers. Hardtails are awesome around trail centers, so we haven't really done much on these bikes since we got them a couple of months ago. Don't really give them as much love as the other bikes, so I thought I'd bring out the hardtail for a rip round the local trail center. Gonna go and check out some black trails, and then we're probably gonna go and play in the free ride jump park with drops and stuff like that. So stay tuned if you're in for a bit of that. We're gonna ride up and we're gonna go and check some of them out. <laughs> so we're at the top of Glentress, at the top of Carl's Lane. It's misty, there's a big tower. So before I drop into the trail, I'm actually just gonna plan a route and see which trails, which black trails, we can, which black trails we can ride. Before I do, I just want to sh show you. I'll give you, walk you through some of the spec on this bike. Cause, well, people seem to always ask about the bike. It's a Sentier. It's a 27.5 bike. Full Shimano XT kit on it. New proof finishing kit. Brand X seat post. And it's generally just like a, an aggressive do-it-all hardtail. Like it's a really fun bike to ride whether you're using it as like a commuter bike or just coming for a rip at your local trail centre. Also got the mud hugger guard on there as well to try and keep some of the mud out which seems to be doing the job so far. That's pretty much the bike so we'll strap the GoPro to the chest and we'll go and find some trails to ride. Okay we're gonna go down a track called Carl's Lane. Oh, let's go Kai. Hardtail's a lot faster on these. Trails on the trails. Oh my god. I actually have no idea where we are. Boundary Trail, Shane McGoan. Okay, we'll go down the boundary trail and we'll go down this track. When are you gonna go? No? Definitely not a white German Shepherd now, are you? Yeah, that's it. You drink that clean water. Oh shit, mechanical, the dog leads come out my bag wrapped in my cassette. I thought I felt something hit my back. You should carry your own dog lead. All right, take two. Opened it in the track. Was that? So as you might be able to tell, conditions look a bit different now. I'm wearing a different coat, I'm clean, and that's because it's the day after what you've just seen. Basically it was too dark to film anywhere in the woods and after about two hours of riding, Kai started to get pretty tired. So we ended up having to call it a day. So I've just come back up and ridden up this morning to come and do a few laps of the Glentress free ride park. It's got a load of jumps, berms, drops, wall rides, you name it. It's pretty cool for practice for any ability level. And I always think it's cool to go back to basics every now and again, because that's generally where most of your skill is found. Okay, GoPro's on. Gonna have a little roll through the jumps. Hopefully it's light enough. The sun's just starting to come out, if you can see that. It's pretty dark when I came up this morning. Pretty rare that we ride at this bike park just because of all the other trails around the area. Pretty fun though. It's showing signs of wear and tear. Like 
I don't think they've done much maintenance on the actual jumps for a long time, but word on the grapevine is they're rebuilding a new bike park somewhere in replacement of this place, which would be pretty cool. I'm gonna push up and do another lap. Drops and all sorts everywhere. Literally this place has everything. Let's have a go at this drop. Should be pretty fun on a little hardtail. That, some more drops. Three drops, small, medium, large. It's pretty sick this place. It's got like so much cool stuff to play on. How we go on this? Ooh. Ooh. So yeah, I wanted to add this little bit in at the end of the video because it's now, what day is it now? It's Monday. What you've just seen, the crash at Glentress was yesterday on Sunday. Literally, who'd have thought it was a good idea to ride a wet wall ride, well, a wall ride, a wooden wall ride in the winter, in the wet. For some reason in my head, I thought it was like, gonna be grippy. Like maybe it had some like grip tape or something on it or like some creosalt stuff, but literally, front wheel as soon as it touched the wood it just like washed washed out and the next thing i know i was like face down on the floor ended up where i can't see like scratched all the screen on my gopro kind of annoying got a bit of a scratch on my shoulder and my thigh but all's good anyway after that crash i was pretty much over it didn't want to do any more filming so i just thought i'd round this video out <coughs> back at the house where I'm actually warm and like actually okay. That's kind of the end of the video. So we rode some black trails at Glendress, got lost, came back the next day and then got annihilated in the jump park, which was down to my ridiculous error of thinking you could ride wet wood in the winter, was I thinking. So there's a lesson in that, don't ride wet wood in the winter. I think we're gonna wrap things up now for Christmas and uh, have a bit of a break. I mean, if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy watching me crash, even more subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos and take care of the christmas and guess we'll just see you in the next video